Greg McDermott was a standout student athlete for the Panthers, but he's better known for leading his alma mater to three consecutive NCAA tournaments as their head coach. McDermott and his staff transformed the UNI basketball team into a well-known and nationally respected program. This year, Greg McDermott was inducted into the UNI Athletics Hall of Fame. He was a 1,000-point scorer at UNI from 1984 to 88 and still ranks number four in school history and career field goal percentage at 58.1%. Greg came back to lead the Panthers basketball program to new heights from 2001 to 2006. Well, I think it's every coach's dream to have an opportunity to coach it at their alma mater and, and you know, to, to achieve what we're able to achieve with that group of young people and the coaching staff that, uh, that I had. It, it was a lot of fun besides having a lot of success. We had a lot of great times together. So, uh, you know, it'll always be a very special time in my life. McDermott led the UNI men's basketball team to three straight NCAA tournament appearances from 2004 to 2006. You, you sell a dream when you, when you take over a program that was struggling and you're selling promise and to have that all come to fruition and know that it was possible at Northern Iowa playing in the Dome to achieve that kind of success, it allowed us to continue to recruit good players and, uh, and that's really what it's all about, you know, good coaching. There's not many good coaches that don't have good players on their team and, and we, had, we had a great group. Under McDermott's leadership, the Panthers won the 2004 Missouri Valley Conference Tournament to earn the program's second NCAA appearance in school history. He then led the Panthers to their first NCAA at-large selections in 05 and 06. Greg McDermott will always be connected to UNI Panther Athletics. So many great friendships as a result of uh, my playing days. Uh, you know, the, the lessons I learned from, from Jim Barry and his coaching staff and, and Eldon Miller and the guys that worked for him are lessons I still use today uh, and it helped me mold my own coaching philosophy and the way I treat the people that I work with, the, re the way I treat our teams and, and my expectations of the guys that, that we coach. Uh, and then, to, you know, as a, as a coach, you know, just to be able to come back and leave the program in better shape than you inherited it. And, and then to see what Jake has done uh, in the nine years since I've been gone, it's, you know, I'm, I'm still his biggest fan and want to see him do well. So um, it, it's good to see that the program's now had sustained success. We're sitting in a beautiful building, uh, you know, that we spent a lot of time raising money for. So it, it's, it's fun to come back and, and see that everything's going so well. And, and really, there's no end in sight. I think the sky's the limit for this program. When we come back, we bring you a story on former NFL star and current assistant football coach Bryce Pop. This is Panther Sports Talk. Stay tuned for more Panther Sports Talk.